arrange the brood nest into the bottom box, put the, the frames up on top, get rid of any, uh, get rid of any uh, combs, undesirable combs that are in there if I have any. Actually, let me go get a box of combs. Okay. So I have it. And I need it. All right, so we are taking our bees out of winter. It's towards the end of March, probably a little late. This is the last 10 colonies right here. I've done the rest of the apiary and all the other yards take them out of the winter configuration but uh, I got these last 10 to take out so I'm going to show you how we go about it how I go about it so these straps make sure that we don't have any issues with storms or wind or anything significant and it makes sure and holds the colony nice and tight together if there was anything that happened that were to knock the colony off the stand it would stay together and more than likely not be injured at all so it also keeps the lid on, which it's on there pretty good. Regardless, Propolis is amazing stuff. But it uh, keeps the lid on. I mean, otherwise, it wouldn't stick to this insulation very good because, uh, you know, the bees can't get up there and do Propolis. It's Propolis from before I stuck the insulation on. So I'll stick my lid right there on the ground like that, and I'll show you what I do with it later. Insulation comes off. That's for winter, we don't need that anymore. Keeps the lid warm so it's not colder than the inside so condensation can't form right here. It'll form on the outside walls and be able to drip down. Plus the bees will have access to it in the event that they need water in the winter. Upper ventilation will dry the colony out real bad and although it'll prevent moisture issues, it also creates an issue where the bees have to generate a lot more heat to uh, maintain themselves through the winter and uh, they're very dry. Their humidity goes way down. They have to go hunt for water every time that uh, there's a flying day. So this is my barrier to keep them from chewing into the foam. And it's just a, uh, a sun a sunshade window screen, a fiberglass window screen. First time I tried it, it looks like it's working pretty good. We'll go through here. Get some smoke in there as we bring them off of there. Shake any bees off so they can get back into the colony. Throw that off to the side. We'll store that for winter. Generally, as a rule, our colony, our nest, is going to be in this upper box right here. So I'm going to disturb it last, assuming that the bottom box is empty. That's kind of light compared to what I'd like to see so we might be getting close to uh, out of food in this colony but we set that off we're assuming the brood nest is in there so the queen and the baby bees are all being raised in there and over here we're gonna see if our combs all empty so start going through this see if any of the brood nest is down here or if they've moved up out of this box and there's nothing going on. There's the first frame. See, I'll just set it off to the side, get it out of the way. And then I'll go through these, the rest of these. A little bit of honey stores at the top still. Pretty new frame. Hasn't been used too much. Honey stores at the top. Empty comb. tiny bit of honey empty comb a lot of traffic coming in because they're traveling through this to get to where most of the activity in the colony is a little chunk of funky comb there pull that off and see if they'll draw it clean when they draw it back empty comb they're storing a little bit of stuff back in here. A lot of bee traffic coming across these frames. But other than that, there's nothing in there. It's all empty. 
give them a little puff to make sure, get them out of the way, make sure the queen hadn't come down here and you started using this or anything. And if she has, it won't be a big deal because this is going to be the frames that she's going to expand into next because I'm going to set them on the top of the colony. Just run around storing some pollen down here. Look, got some pretty red pollen in there from the hen bit the bees are foraging on. Lots of pollen, lots of bees with pollen on their legs coming in and packing it away. Looking like this spring is shaping up pretty good for the bees. But we're going to go through all these, make sure that none of these frames are anything that uh, I want to remove from the colony. Everything good to go there. Say not a lot of honey in this colony, but plenty to uh, not be concerned about needing to emergency feed them for a concern of them starving uh, if we were to have a period of rain and cold for a week or so. They should be fine with this amount of honey in there because after you add this, all these little rings of honey on the top of these frames together, we probably got about three frames of honey in the bottom of this box. So not something that we need to be concerned about their food stores right now. But pretty empty. So here's what we're gonna do. And the bees are gonna love it because all the traffic from the colony is coming through this box. So we're gonna put this back together. We're gonna pull this box off the bottom board. Stick it over here. Give all these bees a little bit of a reason to be ready to move around. We're going to take what we're presuming is the brood nest, pick it up, I'm going to stick it on the bottom. Try to slide it in, prevent from squishing as many bees as possible. Bam. Right there, done deal. Now we've reversed the boxes. We provided empty space above the brood nest for them to expand into. It'll be natural for them to expand into where the heat is in the colony. Less natural for them to expand the brood nest down because of uh, the temperature situations we have in the spring. What they'll do is they'll build up solid in this top box, mainly ignore the bottom box and be pressured to swarm. When we do the reversal, they already have a brood nest established below and they want to work up from there, making the brood nest bigger, something that we can take a split from and prevent swarming for a, a little period of time before, before we have to worry about swarming. It'll give us an opportunity to make some queens and uh, be able to do splits like we want to do splits. Gonna break the propolis loose. It's a nice warm day, so it's not too difficult. Try this first frame out. Outside frame as expected, not a whole lot going on. Another frame, not too much going on. I figure the brood nest is somewhere around in here based on what I see with the bees. It's a heavy frame of honey, so we have plenty of food. This was in the top, so that's where you'd expect. And then look at all that pollen that they're bringing in and storing. So generally they'll put this pollen right next to where they're raising the baby bees. So I would expect, and we've got a few hive beetles running around in there. Just uh, not an epidemic, but uh, Hopefully the bees are strong and they maintain any problems with hive beetles trying to uh, reproduce in the uh, pollen stores here that they have. And it looks like we are in good shape with that. So I would expect the next frame, maybe we start seeing some brood with that amount of pollen stored on that frame. We shall see. Nothing on this frame yet. Can see they're kind of cleaning out the middle here 
they've got a ring here. They're ex anticipating expanding the brood nest into this area here, but they haven't done it yet. It doesn't look like the queens worked their way onto there yet, but they got, they've got kind of a ring established to the pollen that they're planning on moving the brood nest. Over. One's not happy with me. Yeah, smoke me. <laughs> smoke kind of disturb any bees that are deciding that uh, they don't appreciate our intrusion get them a little less uh, interested in defending the colony a little more interested in their food stores all right now we're into the brood nest and uh, mm, that looks like most of this has emerged very recently you can see just a ton of little fuzzy bees running around right here I'm trying to get where I can hold the frame and it's okay. It's okay. point stuff out here but super fuzzy bee super fuzzy super fuzzy these bees have emerged in the last several hours maybe the last 24 hours they're still brand new fuzzy out of the deal the Queen's come through and she has relayed this and it's all larva open larva that's coming up from being now we have a clean cup here in the middle of the frame. There's nothing in it. We're going to peel that out. Hopefully they will uh, they'll build that into a cleaner frame without that clean cup kind of messing around there. Now there is a beautiful brood pattern, what you want to see. So you got this ring of solid capped brood around the outside. That's all the bees that are about to emerge. You got a ring here of bees that are in the process of emerging. They have emerged and the queen is laying back into them. Inside of that is new, newer brood that the queen has laid and it's newer capped. It's in the beginning of its pupating stage and out here is at the end of its pupating stage. Going to emerge soon. So uh, that's pretty nice, that's looking good. I don't have any arguments with a frame that looks like that. But I don't see our queen on this frame, but I do see things that we want to see from a bee colony in the spring coming out of winter. Another sheet of brood here. Everything's looking really nice. Uh, like you said, we got that ring of, of uh, emerging brood around the outside with a ring of uh, pupae and then a ring of freshly capped brood in the middle, just like we want to see. We'll see a queen in here somewhere. Probably in that big old pile right there. <laughs> We're looking for her. If we see her, We'll catch her with our queen catcher and get her marked with uh, last year's mark and uh, move on. But this is a really nice frame. No complaints at all about this frame brood. Look, we got a bee, we got a baby emerging right here. Sisters are welcoming, welcoming her to the world, trying to get her out of there. Mm. So they're just just now starting to emerge in the middle of this frame, and they'll work their way out, emerging, and the queen will come back in and lay that stuff back in in the middle she must be on some new real estate over here So we do have some new real estate. The queen has just started using this frame to expand the brood nest. If you can see down in there, I don't know if you can or not, there's eggs, maybe some freshly hatched larva down in there. There's a few queen cups that uh, we'll just try to help them decide not to put those in the middle of the frames. If they're gonna raise swarm queens, I'd rather them do it in burr comb at the bottom of the frame that way. When I go through and just do quick inspections, I can find them easier. The, the swarm impulse should be very low. There's no drone brood in this colony. 
that they're trying to raise as of yet. So, uh, looks like the brood nest is expanding on the side. Let's see if we can move some bees out of the way. Just a little light puff of air, not enough to make them mad and fly up and sting me in the face, but uh, enough to make them scoot out of the way. So we got eggs all down in here. She's just come over here and started laying over here. Although she is very shy because have not found her yet. And that's okay. We see evidence of her. We don't see her. That's just fine. We're not too worried about that. We've got kind of a droop of bees trying to fall off the bottom of the frame. So I'm going to set that one down in there. That should be the end of the brood nest in this colony. We're going to go ahead and look at the rest of these frames and make sure there's nothing that I want to call out of the colony and replace with another drawn frame. But that's honey oh. pollen on that side. we got some bees drooping off of there we'll hang them over the colony they're not real nervous but they are a little a little bit of a nervous they're not real still on the cone but they're nothing that they're nothing that's difficult to work or anything like that by any means i hadn't had one bee even thinking about stinging me part of that's due to uh the weather's beautiful and they are bringing some stuff in this paw this frame looks great i actually got a bee crawling around on my leg underneath my pants and hoping she doesn't sting me oh my gosh you want to see her i think she made it no i think she flew out here's a baby bee anyway we've been in this colony long enough this frame looks good We'll stack their empty box up on top. We'll leave them to their own devices. <laughs> Let them do their thing. Next time we're in here, maybe we'll find the queen and mark her. And if not, no big deal. We don't need to see her. We see the work she's doing. And we're happy with it. smoker always kind of puff your smoker up you don't want to just blow a ton of air trying to get some smoke get where it, you can gently apply the smoke to the bees without just puffing the crap out of them get them to go down there a little bit grab this box we'll set it up on top we're going back to a standard inner cover which I don't want them to start utilizing an upper entrance. So I have some vent holes on here. I may go away from those vent holes in the future, but as long as I still got equipment with the vent holes in it, I'm gonna turn that stuff up so that the air won't ventilate out too quick and the bees won't use, have a tendency to wanna to use this as an entrance. Because uh, I really dislike work in the colony and the bees are all trying to enter and exit the hive right in the middle of me working. I want them, I want them going in and out down here so that I, they don't make it more difficult for me to do my work. That's it. That's a colony taken out of its winter configuration. Brood nest flipped, inspected to see if there's any swarm concerns or any health issues. We didn't see any. Looks like they're expanding into spring pretty good. Hopefully they'll give us a couple more weeks before they get really crazy about uh, making some drones and trying to swarm. So thank you very much.